So let's create a div with an ID of progress container. And inside of that, let's actually have the progress bar. So we'll have a div and an ID equals to progress bar. So this will be hidden by default and it will have a width of 400 pixels um, or 300 as indicated here at the top. So when we click on this button here, that will be shown by the JavaScript. So we're going to use JavaScript to show this and then increase the width of this as we're going ahead. So let's just go ahead and code and that will be clear in a moment. Okay, so let's write the function that toggles that file uploader. So we say the function toggle progress bar. Just put this camel case. Toggle progress bar visibility. What that does it is selects the progress bar container, not the bar itself, but the container by using document get element by ID. And what's the um, ID of the progress container is progress container. Okay, now that we have access to the bar, we're gonna say if the bar is um, is visible. display by using this display property of style of bar we're going to set it bar dot style dot display to none and if it is not visible we're going to make it visible by saying bar dot style dot display to block okay so anytime we call this function, that's going to toggle the visibility of the progress bar container. So now let's write a submit um, event handler. So we have access to the submit button. So we're going to say submit whenever it's been clicked by saying submit dot on click. That's equal to a function. And what happens with that inside that function? We're first going to call toggle progress bar visibility. So before we write any more code, let's go ahead and test that out. So let's refresh. As you can see, we do not have a form anymore, so we don't have the styling, but that's okay. We're just showing functionality. Let's select the file, share this. So right now it's not going to upload stuff, but expected behavior is just to show the progress bar. Click on upload and that didn't work. So let's check in our console here and see what happens. So we have an error on line 14. Apparently I did not type the else property so let's do that now so let's refresh this and I'll select the file again okay click as you can see the progress bar has been shown so now we're just seeing the progress um, bar container but the progress bar itself is at a width of zero so you won't see it so as we're in uh, uploading files as the file is being uploaded the progress is going to increase up until 100 so let's actually go ahead and continue writing our code now. So secondly, what we need to do is check if there is every, any file has been selected. So since we have access to the file element here, we're going to say file.files.length is equal to zero. So if the length of files is zero, that means no file has been selected. We're just going to return, not do anything. So else, we're going to add form data. Let's write a function that does that add form data. Now just explain what that is quickly. Add form data. So basically what that add form data does it it adds whatever data you have in your file here to a, a data property. So let's create a variable called data equal to new form data. If you want to send files to a server asynchronously in JavaScript, you have to create a form data. So that contains, uh, it's sort of like mimics your form. So to that data, we're going to say append. We want to append data to it. And the name of that um, data is going to be file upload. So in the server, when we want to access this data, we, we're going to go dollar underscore files and then file upload. So that's the name that we're setting up here right now. Okay. So next, let's just set what data is going to be inside that. So let's just say file.files. 
and which file do we want to select we want to select the zeroed one so that's an array so this is just a uh, indicator that if you want to um, upload multiple files you can do that using this if you had more than one file um, different to what we have right now you can access that using the want element or the second element or third okay but now we want to select the first one we just use the array notation zero so let's just return this return data okay so inside here let's create another variable to save our data so we call the function and add form data and then we get the data um, back so next what do we want to do we want to create the request so let's save our request equal to prepare request so we're preparing the ajax request here so let's create that function as well so that's going to be function prepare request and inside of that function what do we do we first create a request we're going to return it soon let's just say return return request and what's going to be in the request is going to be a new xml http request and that's it and then next we're going to say when the request um, status has changed so on ready state change call this function what that does is anytime the state of the request has changed this function will get called so if the state is um, that file has been sent so request dot ready state equal to four we're going to just do a try catch here to say console.log and inside that we're going to say file send so when the file has been sent we just log something and if an error occurs we just catch the error by saying console.log error occurred simple 